I'll give it a shot. We'll... Man, they're just like two inches. Maybe I should just grow a couple inches. That's what she said. Ha! No, she didn't though. <laughs> she really didn't. This is bathroom etiquette 101. Let's get it together, people. Come on. And Alan's boring me. Come on, give me something good. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I've been going up now. See the top going down. If you didn't know now. We got a motor piece, we gotta go. This is, you know, the early morning, well, not early morning for most normal human beings, but for us right now, it's pretty early. Like, uh, what, before 11, we got home around two something. So uh, now we gotta, we're just gonna start off with the driving video, why not, huh? Let's go. So, uh, you know, we don't know what traffic looks like. It is a weekend, it's always a risk. So we're leaving at about 10.50, something, something. Okay, get in the car, look at this. Oh, I should be a cameraman. Look at this. Look at this. All right, I'm going to make it happen. Bring a little baggie, extra clothes and things like that, because Saturday night, we will on Saturday night be sleeping down there because we got that big Sunday day too. Let's get to the driving video. All right, off we go. Off we go to play. We're gonna, we got our trusty road coffee. Check that out. Las Vegas agency, huh? Yeah, they, they, the best gifts ever. So I'm gonna give you a little background on what this is. Poker Royalty, Brian Ballsbug, many years ago, uh, was a golf agent. And then he saw poker on TV and thought, you know what, there, there's something here. And so he got into poker through the WPT and I met him and I'm like, mm, I think this is our guy. So when we, uh, when I met him and we had a good conversation, I was like, all right, I tried to get some other players to, you know, hire him as the agent and he's grown into like a very important figure in the poker world he does a lot of good things and they branched out las vegas agency they don't only work with poker players they do things all around the community with the raiders with the golden knights one thing in particular that was an emmy award-winning um uh little documentary piece done by dustin who's another guy we called them pockets for many years ago who created his own business which is great everybody's flourishing and so they created the battle for vegas which is the vegas golden knights against the um, the Vegas Raiders and or Las Vegas Raiders, whatever you want to call them. And they play baseball right uh, you know, at the field, not too far from here. And it's a charity event they, they run every year. So it's silver versus gold, gridiron versus ice. Players from the Vegas Golden Knights versus Las Vegas Raiders. And for one evening a year, Vegas fans will have to pick a side. Hats off to them. Good job. Um, off we go. So we're day two of the 1K PLO. Um, here's the thing that's difficult with, for me, in terms of World Series of Poker, when we do this kind of playing lots of events things and some of the tens. When I play the simple schedule of like, all right, we play the 2 p.m., whatever that is, and then we go on to the next one, it's a little bit easier from a perspective of clear intention, okay? I've used this term before. Uh, your clear intention is gonna be a little bit blurred when you're sort of having to plan for plan B's and C's, right? So generally, I'd like to say, I'm in the 1K PLO, that's all that there is today. There is nothing else. Doom, that is our vision. Our vision is to get through this day and to win this tournament, right? That is the ultimate goal with clear intention. The World Series is that makes it difficult because there's a day too late, Reg, of a 10K limit hold'em that starts at 1 p.m. That, that ends at 1 p.m. We start at noon. So then you start thinking, okay, well shit, if I bust in the next hour, can I jump and drop a stack there? All right, the other backup thing that you got is, of course, at noon starts the $50,000 no limit hold'em, right? So that's like plan B's and plan C's that uh, sort of takes away from clear intention. Clear intention is nothing else exists but this 1K PLO. So for now, for right now, we're gonna do our best to say nothing exists other than this 1K PLO. Sweep the leg, huh? Sweep the leg, Contenders Clothing, get it? I love this shirt. I love these baseball cuts. They have uh, several of them on Contenders Clothing. And remember, people, if you haven't yet, if you haven't bought underwears for your daddy or whoever else, or for yourself, you got to go check out my line on Contenders Clothing. We got to check all the, look at all these. Look at the, look at that one. Look at that one. You got the nuts. You got, you know, you got, you got it all in. You got pocket aces. You got the big stack. Get yourself a pair. I promise you won't regret it. They're very high quality. Remember to use Kid Poker 20 for 20% 20 off.
All right, so we got here a little early, the coffee kicking in, and I have to say, I, this has to be a PSA, okay? You men, you swines, you pigs, you scout, you, you, you vermin, okay? Bathroom etiquette, this is how you do it, okay? There's tons of urinals. If you need to take a leak, stand there and piss in one of those. Don't stand on one of the freaking stalls and just piss all over the seat and go, Wah! well, how do you get piss there? I don't even know. Like, you see piss in the weirdest places. Like, you have to aim to get it there, right? That's step one. Step two, when you're done your duties, flush the toilet. That's it. Just click flush, you know? How hard is this? Why do people have to come and see what you left? A big log of whatever, right? This is bathroom etiquette 101. Let's get it together, people. Come on. Right? Am I wrong? Honestly, am I wrong? All right, as you know, I'm a chair critic. We got new chairs here in the uh, in the horseshoe area, and oh yeah, I got the Nintendo shoes today again. Got the Nintendo shoes, but we got we're go the seats. Okay, so they're they're cushiony. Um, they're not they they're not so much forward, which I don't like. And also one small thing, and I, just I'm such a chair nit. They're slightly high, just the like about two three inches high. I like the other ones a little bit better. But I think I can sit in this. We'll see. I think I can sit in this, right? Without having to go all the way over to Paris and grab one of them chairs and bring it back over here. I'll give it a shot. We'll... But man, they're just like two inches. Maybe I should just grow a couple inches. That's what she said. Ha! No, she didn't though. <laughs> she really didn't. <laughs> all right, we're all, he's all in here on the flop. We got a nice hand, but you know, whatever. He's probably got a queen, so we got double suited aces because that's how we play and he's got the queen oh boy he's got a lot of outs he needs a king four eight or a queen we'll take a deuce or an ace finish it off there's a queen we're dead Ooh, nice one you got me aces suck all right while we're live here after we lost that pot which is kind of ridiculous he's never supposed to call my raise i have a three bet pot he called with king queen eight four it's fine um on the button on the tens i, I make anyway I'm, there's a hand where i make the nuts on the river basically and, uh, so we're gonna uh, mistake a meter, oopsie meter, write this one in, this one counts. Uh, the river, there was like uh, 85K in there, and I had 73, I got 65, leaving myself eight. The guy did from the small blind snap called. Uh, I win the hand, which is great, but I cost myself 8K. I would have 8K more in my stack if I just would've went all in. So, yeah, that's just a mistake. I mean, there's no, why would I do that? There's no reason for that. I mean, I thought maybe it looks a little weaker because I leave a chip behind and a lot of times people are like oh you go all in i gotta fold well, if you keep one back maybe you're bluffing um so but you know 8k lines are five and ten so it's almost a full big line mistake and you know, hey we're holding ourselves accountable like i said we're gonna be nitpicky we're gonna do all the things all right we are in another big one my man here has aces he's on his forehead right there <laughs> they're like boom now we have to hope he doesn't have hearts so we got a pair in back doors we don't have hearts so i call the all in Good luck, aces. Like Do you have hearts? No hearts. Okay, so now we need a 10 jack, queen, king, face card. There's Ooh, 10. 10. All right. Oh, no, Ooh. seven. Damn it. You me. Nice. Shit. All right, we got a 1K. We got 10K in the big. We got nine behind. I'm all in. Good luck, sir. I have a king high. You have a ace, queen, three, four. I got the king, 10, eight, six. This is an absolutely fair fight. I mean, this is as fair as you're going to get. For your last chips. You got diamonds though? Okay, so no, so, oh, you got clubs. All right, so no flushes, just, uh, I don't know, small stuff. Not that small, wait, you got three, four. <laughs> seven, oh, there's jack seven. Okay, so we got straight draw, gutter. Oh, he's got clubs though. I got a king. Three kings, bro. Back in action, let's go. <laughs> you did say I could spin it up, huh? I did. All right, let's do it. All right. We are gonna have a three-way pot. This very next hand, we picked up some double-suited queens and stuff. He's got a, oh, he's got my outs. Oh my God, you have my hand destroyed. What are you doing? Why? Well, I know, but he's hurting mine against him. So you got the, a live ace there. I got this. Okay, this is kind of a key pot. So I guess spades and diamonds are both good. Why'd you do this to us? Well, you did, what did you do? I mean, why'd you get dealt that? Okay, all right. You have a very bad hand. <laughs> You're in trouble. You need a deuce. One case deuce. There we go. There's a... What is that? A king? I, I have a king. You have a king as well. Shit. Hearts. 
I think I'm out. Sorry, on the main pot, I've got. Yep. He got me on the juice. Yeah. For the main. And on the side pot. Oh, the we chop. I'm still alive. Yep, I got a ah, chop. That's funny. I got like a peanut left. I got a chop for this. Okay, we're going to get back a nibble. So that is one and a half bigs. Okay, well, I'm still alive. 90. All right, we're all in for our peanut without a very good hand. But what does he have? He has a king. So we need a, uh, a deuce. A, no, four, sorry, a four. Go ahead, you can deal. A seven would be good. Six, no good. Okay, well, oh, do I have a straight? No, I don't. All right, off to the limit hold and we go. All right, that was unfortunate. You know, like 20, 30 minutes in, we lost. That very first hand is really tilting. The button raises, I re-raise with double suited aces and he calls with king, queen, eight, four with eight. I go, that one's tilting. Then that other hand, when we got it in with the 10 jack, queen, king against the aces on the turn, when we made queens and tens, he can't hit an ace anymore because it makes us a straight. So we had six out, seven or a five, seven on the river. That would have, you know, give us a shot. Um, yeah, the last hand, I mean, I have one and a half bigs. It's not a very good hand, a seven, seven, five with a side diamonds, but I have one and a half bigs. Now we got to mosey on over. We got 20 minutes to jump into the 10K, limit hold them, max late reg, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Peace. Right, here we sit in the limit hold and with some dinosaurs and the king dinosaur of them all always working maury on his phone busy busy i remember back in the day maury used to play the 8160 game with lenny and mickey and you would open the store right you'd open the shop the three of you would play people would join you and then the nits would come and try to take the last seat Right? That, that was always the case. You t I learned a lot from back last. in the day. Uh, they didn't last. The Nits didn't last. All right. Limit hold them. They got, we got 60K. We had about 30 people join today. So I'm, it's not just me. It's a thing. And it makes sense. Limit, limited edition hold them. Another dice roll. All right. Well, we had it up to about 110. Now we got it down to 26,000 going on break in the first break. Hold on. I'll be right back in 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Hang on. All right. Well, took care of that. So, twenty-six thousand we have. Not ideal. Uh, playing five and ten, so we have what? Two and a half big bets. I had queens twice, didn't get action. Then I got kings under the gun. No kings in the big. I went raise. Well, I flop was an ace. I lost ace king. And what was the other one? Oh, the other one was blind versus blind. I was queen five against ace seven. Flop was queen ten five. Uh, in terms of jack. Anyway, it's limit holding. Nobody gives a shit. Stupid hand break. There's no breakdowns. So anyway, so I really don't want to be out of this limit holding. We're going to try. We're going to grind, but big blind's coming, so we're going to have to win a pot <laughs> very, very soon. All right, that's my stack. That's not ideal, but in better news, we kind of call them team short stack because they all reg late too. This is Josh Arie working really hard and super focused. Pokerstake.com. There, he's got chips. We're doing good. Good job. And then over here, over here we've got the stud horse, Nick Shulman. No cigar in the mouth today. And he's in a pot against that other guy. That's in a So we got three dudes in, all max late ridged, all still in, 48 left, all the people. And we're sitting here with a peanut. A peanut. The blind is gonna be 5K. So Give him 25 yellow. Yeah, whatever. No, it's fine. I'll, I'm good with these. All right, I'm all, what do you have, a pair? Oh, I have a straight draw over cards and all that stuff. And I'm all in for 6K, so we have a bunch of cards. There's one of them. 6,000 is paid. Yeah, the game is not that good. What should we got now? that. Oh, 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 big method, okay. How many big bets now? Oh, I would have, oh, you would have beaten me. So we got four now, four big bets and the button. Okay, all in, all in on the flop. Good luck. What do you have? Queen 10? <laughs> what the hell? Nice hand, buddy. Oh, we're dead. Good flop. What are you going to do? I had two big bets. <laughs> well, man, how are you gonna, when the money's gone, you know, time to move on. Hmm. Got the 26K up to 90. And lost the sevens three-way paw and then this guy he just he's the one who beat me at ace king against him he had two fours he three bet me which was never mind it's been it's been a thing what are you doing bro? i raised under the gun you raised me under the gun plus one with fours cool story bro he won that one so this last hand i raised with ace jack of hearts he three bets 
I call Jack nine eight. I have like yeah, I check. He bets five k. I have ten. So I put it in, and he has a straight. So we're gonna take a little rest, a little coffee, regroup, and then it's fifty k time. That's what's next. All right, we're gonna throw together a sandwich right here, real quick. We got that's the um, un egg that we had. So we're gonna put some. Well, we got tomato on there. We got a bunch, and then we got these ciabatta rolls that we bought the other day. So that's lunch. Why not? Um, okay. So now we're officially in a situation where things could conflict. If we had made it through in the PLO today, no issue. If we made it through in the limit hold'em, no issue. But now there's a small issue, and this is how we're going to approach it. The 50k high roller has started. We will show up. It is 3:48 right now. They're going on break at about 4:15. So we'll, we'll show up there at about 4.30, right after the break, and we will play four solid hours. That's it. The, day, the night is over at 9 p.m. Four solid hours to finish the night. Um, and then play day two tomorrow. From there, when we make the final table of the 50K, that will also be the same day as our restart of the Gladiator. So when we're at the 50K final table, and we got the Gladiator going on, the focus is going to be the 50K final table, which may mean... We dribble off in the uh, Gladiator, which, you know, in one sense, it's like, oh, that's unfortunate, but this is a good problem to have, right? That would be a very good problem to have and one that should be a pretty easy decision once we get there. So a little bit of R&R, &R, and then we jump in, refocused, ready to go with a coffee. Here we go, we're in the 50K. That's a good starting second, 300K. Got, I don't know his name, I don't know his name. Never seen him before, no idea. I'm famous because you're blonde. Yeah, that's true, you got that. You, you, the, the Casio like, watch. Hey, the watch no, no idea. <laughs> nope, never seen him, no clue. Don't know any one of them. Actually, I'm kidding, of course. So you remember the video I did of the 25K where it was a bunch of old Rich Dowds and, and Bill Klein, who's also one of those, and I didn't know any of them, not one. I know everybody here, and they're all okay. I mean, whatever. Some are better than others, you know? Where do you rank on the state? Me? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, top nine, eight? Ten. Top eight? I'm going to say top <laughs> eight. I know I'm in the top eight right here. Fucking suckers. Let's go. 50K. We're going to do some dirty shit to these people. Uh, this on, is crazy, dude. bro. I'm just, this is first luck, probability. Didn't well. get there. I raised yeah. the button. or put it in with what we got left. And he has ace king. I have ace jack. So we need a jack because this is silly. Awesome. I think we deserve a jack, jack with how things have been going. Feels like a jack. Any There's, jack. I don't care which jack. Okay, pair of the board, pair of the board, pair of the board, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Damn, bro, I didn't win a fucking hand in this thing. All right, off Another the bullet, board. though. Yeah, that's the good news. All right, my man, Jack Ray's flop that turn. He has three of a kind. Look, you can go like that. Yeah, he has three of a kind. We don't, but we have to gamble because we already put our money in and we're going to go for it. Call. You have a set? Only for less. Okay. Oh, he has a oh, pair of threes? Okay, I have a pair of aces and a straight draw. All right, Phew. Thanks. I'm out of pair, what are you gonna do? All right, good news, good news, bad news. Bad news is we're on second bullet. Good news is um, we got 765,000. Uh, I have a hand breakdown to share from the first bullet that didn't go, so, I mean, that first bullet, I didn't win any pots. And it's kind of a, oh, it's not that interesting, but whatever. You wanna see hand breakdowns? This is the one I got. All right, as promised, we got a hand breakdown. Let's move this back a little bit. Here we go. So, uh, what do I start with? Start with 300, 280, 290. My opponent has more. The blinds are 3,000, 6,000. I'm in the cutoff. And the, the, both the blinds were like non pros that, you know, it was quite obvious. I'd never seen them before, and they're definitely not. They're not pros. I just, you know, sometimes you just know. So I raise in the cutoff with the King of Spades, 10 of Clubs. Pretty standard. I make it 15,000. All right, two and a half X. Small blind tanks for a, quite a while and calls. The flop comes, jack of hearts, eight of diamonds, five of hearts. I have nothing. He checks. I don't really love this board. I feel like he connects with it a lot, but I don't know what this tank was pre, you know, it could have been some sort of like ace something or, you know, I don't know. I wasn't sure. So I said, okay, let's just see. I don't know this guy. Maybe he just folds and flop over folds. But about 15 K, he calls. Turns the eight of hearts. Now I'm done. That card is just, it's game over for me. What do I got? I got Stugats. One thing I do have, and part of the reason I bet the flop, was I had the connectivity to the jack, um, blocking King Jack and Jack 10, which are both hands that I think he might have called small with. So it blocked those. Once the eight of hearts comes, jig is up. 
unless the river's the four of hearts, okay? Now he checks, and here's the thing. When he calls from the small blind, generally speaking, he's not going to have a lot of off-suit hands, okay? He's going to have a lot of suited hands that, you know, don't make a flush because they would have already been there. So let's say he has a jack, you know, if he has a jack, he, well, if he has a jack, he can't have a flush, really, unless it was, well, I mean, well, no. Yeah, I mean, he could have a heart, but, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that uh, it's it's much more likely that he has a suited hand that doesn't make a flush here. So he checks the river and I decide, all right, if I have to bluff him off a jack, which was the goal, or just get him to fold the jack, got to go pretty high, I think, pretty heavy with him. So I bet 60,000, he thought for a little bit. He finally made the call and he showed the eight nine of clubs. So he had three eights and made the call. Uh, and that was that. And then, you know, you saw the hand ace jack move in on the button. I just, I just didn't win any flops. I was playing a hand, full, miss, whiff, whatever, full. Second bullet though, you saw that weird hand with the four, five, seven flop. I bet into four people with a six suited. He check raised. I called, turn, I hit the ace and he went all in. I'm like, holy smokes, bro. Holy smokes. You got a set, but I got a gamble. He didn't have a set though, as you could see. That wasn't a set. Nope. Definitely not a set. All right, so this is a fun spot. He raised button, he called, I three bet. He went all in, I call, I call, yeah. Okay, that's a problem. We need an ace. Somebody had jacks. Ace or clubs. Oh, that's a bad flop. Boom, dead. All right, GG guys. Okay. Fuck, damn, I had good chips too. 450, I just busted. Yeah, big pot, I know, big pot. I, what, do you want me to, what do you want me to do? Fuck, button raises 27 until all calls really wide. I make it 127 and each chance moves in on the button. So I don't love that, but like he's got jacks, he's got tens, maybe nines, maybe ace queen, maybe ace king. Let's think about that one. Think about what we gotta do tonight too. Damn, that was almost over too. Whew. It's tough. And what did I start with? 450, 450. Six, seven, hand. All right, we're thinking as we're walking, so you're not hearing nothing. Give me a minute. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button down below. All right, we're back at the ticket booth. All right, you guys are going to call me nuts. Totally insane. Today we busted the one page heel all. We jumped into the 10K limo holdem. We busted that. So then we wanted to play the 50K. We busted a bullet. Busted a second bullet. And we get busted just in time to play the $1,500 Raz. And we do it because we love it. And we're crazy. We, you know, we don't even care at this point. We just go, go, go. We love it. That hand was very tilting because of the situation with Talal in there. And I mean, theoretically, like, I just can't fold Ace Queen suited. But I didn't like I didn't love it, you know? So if you think about the math, there's 127 twice. There's 254 plus... Uh, 27 is 281 plus 12. So there's 293 dead. 293 dead in the middle. And I've got 370. So 370 to win 370. So it's like I'm getting like two to one and I got ace queen suited. So very few hands that I'm dead against. And he's got jacks for tens, which I think he can. You know, we're okay against that. I don't think there's really, he's any bluffing much, but you know, what are you gonna do? Huh? Sure, let's do a picture. Alright, so here I am in the Raz line. Look what we got! What father is today, Alan? I see you're in the big ego pro line that waits till the very last minute. I just busted a 50k twice. What ego line? What are you talking about? I what kind of absurdity? The big ego pro line. Because you want to play structures that last 85 days, There's which is bad for you. Right there. Okay, what do you got? 1800? I'm doing something with him. Four, huh? I have 46,500 on this break. Okay, so what's bothering you today? The people that have Eagle Line to Max Light Ridge? I haven't seen you in a few days, and there was a, a, an incident the other day where uh, I called somebody out for slow playing, and I posted their picture on Twitter and asked people if they had seen this guy slow play in the past, and he got really offended by it. But, oh, who was it? I remember now. I don't want to say the name again, but... Well, you got to say the name because we're going to find it and we're no, going to put it up. It's blown over, and uh, um, uh, even though a few people did send me private messages about it, I have completely stopped posting about okay, it. Okay, but who was it? Uh, somebody I had an incident with before. I don't want to really... So why'd you post his picture if you're not going to tell us his name? Uh, because I'm supposed to delete it. I, well, you I, haven't. I haven't deleted it. All right, we'll find it. it. But, 
what, what else did I want to talk about? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Oh, no, we're good now. I got to figure it out. Sounds like that's the end of the chainsaw corner. Yeah, wait, wait. There was something else. There's definitely something. Well, I don't have hours, you know. You got to figure it out. Snip, snap. Hold on. I'm getting my thing over here. I just bust. So Alan says he finally figured out his finish his thought. Go ahead. Yeah, the, the, the new 10K structure, which I worked on with you, with the 40-minute levels, first six, it's a huge, huge hit. Just yeah, like we suspected. Of course. Even though people complained about it. Well, you, uh, you always complain. No, it, I, I was part huh? of it, so I'm obviously not going to complain. ID? About it. Okay. All right, is that it? That's no, all? No, but here, well, hurry up. Here's the I'm solution steaming. to make everybody happy move those to 3 p.m. Yeah, we already figured that. I already said that. that. Did you not read my tweet? My tweet said right. that. But Jesus, on, pay attention, Alan. On these, You're behind. On these 2 p.m. 1500s, either move these to 3 p.m. also, or. Oh, God, you got nothing interesting to say. Wait, wait. Hey, do you want to do a massage? Wait, this your, you're boring me, huh? No, uh, right now. Okay. Here, what? Babe. On these two p.m.s that start at two o'clock. Oh God, I'm bored. Nobody eats dinner before two o'clock. Okay, I'm bored. So either have right now a thirty-minute break. Yeah. Or start at yeah. three p.m. Okay, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Come on, Alan, you can do better next time. Steam levels rise a little bit when you bust two bolts to 50k, and you're running around the Raz, and 14 people want to take pictures, and Alan's boring me. <laughs> I didn't have much pace for Alan today. Strong, to three thirty minutes. Do this, do that. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Tell me about the pizzas that used to be $1.29 and now they're 214 and you can't afford it and blah, blah, blah. And you can't get the comps and this stuff. That's the shit people want to hear. Now you talk about structures. Wow, boy. Okay, we're going to play Raz with these people. Fuck around. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but we got to just keep playing. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, so we're sitting on a big stack of chips here. We got all the black chips. We've been stealing a lot of handies and stuff. We've calmed down since that little bit of rush of madness. Really, it was, you know busting the hand it was very emotional it's probably the first hand this world series it's dumb just because it was intense you know it's a pressure situation um and then to jump around and then i'm trying to i'm trying to buy in and then i'm trying to find the thing and then the app's not working and then i go to the kiosk and then i got always got you know and it's not their fault people saying can i get a picture i'm like <laughs> whoo not right now i'm busy then we get alan show up you know and i just wasn't in that mood but we've calmed down since and this is going to happen we play seven weeks you know there's going to be stress and today's been one of those days but uh, we recognize it, we acknowledge it, and then we test it. We decide for ourselves, you know, what are we going to choose to be? Joyful, enjoy the moment, and that's what we're going to do. But yeah, sometimes you're going to have your moments, and, and that was a frantic one. As you could you could tell, right? You could tell I was tilted, because I was, I mean, not tilted, from, but you know, annoyed. <laughs> we're good now. We're going to chill, bag up the Raz, move on to day two, keep on trucking. All right, last break of the night and on the line, we've got, well, we got 30,000 again. We had 56 or so, just lost, went card dead the last hour, lost some pots. So starting stack, going to the last level. So what's on the line, as I said, is uh, a bag on to day two, show up here, or legit, there's day off tomorrow because we don't play the Gladiator. The 10K Omaha 8 is tomorrow, but we would, uh, you know, we're not gonna play day one of that because we're gonna play the Gladiator. So, we, you know, we could, well, whatever. Basically, it's, it'll be a day off if uh, we don't bag. So let's bag, have something to do tomorrow. Otherwise, you're gonna be bored watching me do laundry and shit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that'll be fun, we'll see. All right, we're gonna check in on the limit hold them on the fantasy team. This cannot be a good idea, this can't be great. <laughs> There's one guy. It was fact, I'm glad they're here, but why are they all seated next to each other? And what happened to Eric? <laughs> Head shake, okay. Get them, boys, let's go. Build them points. Team. Team Phoenix. All right, well, maybe it was a blessing in disguise, but I just went complete. I had 56,000, didn't drag a chip, didn't have anything to play, and then I finally did, and the guy on my left made wheel, seven flight, just never missed a hand. What's up? Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, listen, here's the deal. There's a 10K Omaha 8 tomorrow, right? Which is a great event for us, but we've also got the uh, Gladiator the next day. So if we played day one of the Omaha, the restart would be at 1 p.m. We'd have three hours. Question is, is it better to start on time or is it better to just like play the Gladiator, see how we do if we bust that for some reason. We could always jump into the uh, Omaha 8 on day two. And I think that's the plan. I think tomorrow it's gonna be a day off. We gather some things, come back here, go to bed here so that we can have a 
to avoid the traffic for the 10 a.m. start on Sunday. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Day off tomorrow? Could use one after today. That was a rough one. Lots going on. But, hey, they're going to happen, you know. Still feel good. Feel like uh, upbeat, happy, you know. It's fun. This is what we, pay. This is what we play for. Good night, y'all.